place today is not Saturday it's Friday still so I'm pushing this forward because tomorrow I'm most probably doing something else and so I am doing it today right just before we get going I wanted to fill this in someone has asked me to show you this is the Wilkinson's brush this is the original bore And as I told you in a former video, I replaced it with the blue tip in the older style and the knot I took out was this. Okay, there it is. As you can see, the bottom is super small. I think when I measured it, it was 12 millimeters. Yeah, so that's came out of here. Okay, so there we go. So that's been done. I've kept it because it's in still quite a good state. I might use it at some stage. So let's get cracking. What brush am I using today? And I just want to squeeze the water out of it because it is the two band badger. The ever ready one 50, 50? Yes the ever ready 150 so that's soaking in warm water whilst I'm talking to you and the soap I am going to be using today is I'm using the cream version I have the puck which is quadruple milled actually and this is Taylor of Bond Street platinum I'm giving the cream a go again. I was so successful the last time. Let's see how this one works. I've put it into my large blue scuttle from Steve Woodhead's um, ceramics. I did not measure how much this was, but I'm guessing it's about an eighth of a teaspoon. I say I didn't measure it because this little scale the scuttle is way too heavy for this little scale, so I didn't measure it. Okay. I am going to be using a razor that is on loan. Flash Boredom has loaned me his Edwin J Jagger DE89. I've never used one, so I thought it's well time to try. Okay, English Razor, Edwin Jagger, DE89, it's very popular. Um, they have a long handled version, this is the short handled version. It has superb knurling on this, look, does it, this looks very classy indeed. It looks very, very nice. So, that is the razor. The blade I am using today is the Gillette 7 o'clock Black. It says on it, it's double wrapped and it says do not wipe because it has actually some oil on it. Some protective oil. And it's, I'll show you what it says. It says Gillette Super Platinum on there. This is a three part razor, three piece, not part, three piece. Here you go. Three piece. Let me put this down carefully. There we go, and I will load the blade into here. I'm loading. Now, please don't cut yourself I'm trying to hold the blade. Here we go. So, oh, and I've got it upside down. I've got it upside down. Yes, okay, let me turn it around. Okay, there you go. Let's put that in my hand. I'm uh, a bit awkward today, I don't know why, but anyway. So, it's a closed bar DE safety razor. Let's put that down, let's screw the top back on. Let's screw the head back on. Okay, this does have an overhang. So be aware, it's a small one, but it is one. Okay, so this is screwed on tight, 
There we go. Right. Let's get going with the lathering. I have prepared one and a half teaspoons of water, which is seven and a half mil to you. So let me take my scuttle, let me get my scuttle comfortable in my hand and let me change the camera focus. And I'm get going. I'm sorry for the little interlude. I am adding half a teaspoon to this and I'm getting my brush ready. I'm squeezing the water out. There it is. Shake it out as well. There we go. So here's my brush. Let's get going. Oh look how lovely this is. And we're straight in. <sighs> Superb scent. Very sophisticated, light scent. And... Oh, this is a lather marvel. Right, let's add straight away the next half teaspoon. So I have a total of one in here. Hope you can see that. This bowl size, by the way, is perfect. Also for bigger knots. I have used the th that 30 mils in here as well. No problems. An abundance of lather. I'm adding my last half teaspoon, so I have my one and a half teaspoons in here. So that's seven and a half mils of water to about an eighth of a teaspoon of cream. Oh, whoops! And it's going everywhere, it's flowing everywhere. It's super light and frothy. Look at this. Okay, I think I'll stop at that. It's already shiny. Didn't take any time at all to get this lathered up. So let me just squeeze my fingers, run my fingers across. There we go. Now let me change the camera angle. And I hope the phone doesn't go off again. Right. Let's just get the scent notes up because I've forgotten. Okay. I'm gonna prop up my phone. There we go. Okay, let's wet the face next. It has gotten cold again, guys. So a bit of warm water is nice. By the way, all natural bristles work better if they've been in warm water. Of course they lather with cold water, but best in warm water, they like it better. Right, let's get going. Bergamot, white pear, violet leaf, and this is a tux knot, this. So it's rather stiff, but not scritchy. That's the post. Now here we go, everything's happening at once again. 
So excuse the barking as well. So where was I? Violet leaf, sandalwood. Actually at the moment I'm getting the pear and the sandalwood most of all. Bergamot, yeah, tiny hint. Amber, sweet benzoin and tonka bean and musk are the scents. And as usual it will be at the bottom in the info, in the info box. I will write them up. Let's get going. Here we go. This is superbly weighted. This feels very nice. The handle is, I don't want to say chunky, it's thicker. So it's really nice. I wonder whether the longer handle ones are the same diameter. But this is very nice indeed. Very nice. Oh, very smooth. Mm, I'm liking this razor a lot. And with this blade combination, it's super smooth. I don't know if you can hear the feedback. I can. Blade feedback. I have this rather persistent spot just there and I've been trying to avoid cutting it. <laughs> oh, first pass, first round. Mm, this is a very nice soap indeed. It smells ever so lovely. I would still call it a unisex soap. It's not too masculine and not too floral. It's just right. The sweet benzoin, the violet leaf and the pear don't really bounce back at you. It's just a very subtle. Sophisticated scent. And its performance is lovely. Now, as you can see, the stiff knot is not ideal for painting. It would be better with the beard beard for face lathering. But my skin is too sensitive for that. So here we go. Did I manage to cut it? Mm. I think I just about avoided that. I now understand what all the hype is about. This is a very good razor indeed. short handled ones but I'm just wondering I didn't check whether this is in fact a little longer than the short ones that I do have I most probably will just quickly pause and get the shortest handle out that I have just to check Excuse me a minute because that's now of interest. Right, excuse me, I just had to go to my drawer to get my two shortest handles out. Right, this is my Gillette Slim adjustable. Okay, this is supposed to be the ladies' version and the longest hand and the longer handle, 
look at the difference this is my above the tie calypso the aluminium one okay can you see that i'm trying to hold this as still as i can if i go like this okay right now let's put this one in the middle okay definitely longer than the Gillette but not much whoops let me put that on the side and let's see the ATT uh, the ATT is actually a tiny bit longer so let's have another another check how can I do this best so I don't drop any of these uh, let's do it the other way around like about nope okay once again ATT ATT Gillette and this one so it's longer than all is it now I got myself confused is it let's try again longer slide it on longer definitely shorter by a tiny bit so these two are comparing you can compare them in length once you've laid them on each other this one's by maybe two mils two millimeters difference yeah so that was interesting maybe only to me I don't know right I think I've got to wet my face again because now I've been talking too long and it's dry. <laughs> post shave feel is already kicking in. There we go. Let's wet that face again. One more. See, perfect little face brush. Quite dense. This is pickup. And there's another, there's enough soap still in here for another pass, including what's in the brush. But I'm going to leave that today. Right. So my overall review to this is the feeling I get is this that with the right I think this razor A is most probably good for almost any kind of blade um, and the sharper the blade the better this little tool will be so I am thinking this is definitely a beginner's razor and will grow with you to some extent um, lovely little tool so I am now just quickly going to pause again get some fresh water in here and you don't need to listen to all the noise see you in a minute right so I'm going to do things a little bit different today I'm going to be using my if forever infinite hydrating cleanser today as my after treatment and this is a screw top to open because you only need a little bit 
and I'm putting quite a bit on my hands there you go and I'm just going to give that a good cleanse get some of the anti-aging ingredients into here it's super soft for any skin type not that the tubs hasn't got a post feel which is actually all right I'm saying all right I would add a little bit more the, this one seems a little bit drier than Wednesday's one but saying that the scent is that just that hint more sophisticated and I don't mind because we can still hydrate afterwards um, so definitely a soap to get in slickness it was performing very well lather was performing very well scent also I'm thinking this is definitely a 9 out of 10 um, this is the cream version don't know what the puck version is going to be like I am going to try that out sooner or later and I will tell you the difference so let's get the cleanser off just to get also the residual of this the soap off there you go that's why I needed fresh water as well I didn't want to wash my face with soap scum did I <laughs> I had to clean the basin a bit there we go yes and I've been rubbing that's why I'm red I could have just done it over the sink like this that would have done the job as well right let's get my face dry quickest way of doing it there we go too short to get that towel up again all right so post care I'll be using today let me see oh I'll go with blue I'll take the aloe lotion this contains lanolin um, but I just want that extra little bit and I've made a mess already on the floor there we go So, not for you that are allergic to lanolin, but for me it's perfect. Right. Okay. My scarf slipping, slip sliding away here. Right. Okie dokie. And just to finish it off with another lovely scent, I'm going to be using my Kenzo flowers today. Just finish that off. a powdery scent oh. uh, this has taken a beating this I've only just noticed it actually says this has been made in France <laughs> there you go but I don't know maybe that's the bottle not the content anyway here you go that was it for today in just a very quick review can wholly recommend the razor which I've now got drying here next to me because whilst I was washing everything I rinsed it 
so I can wholly recommend the 7 o'clock 7 with that razor it's not too sharp it's smooth it goes really well it glides very well indeed um, the soap itself love the scent it's just that perfect balance of a little bit hint of sweetness the little hint of freshness and the little hint of depth as in the the, the amber the musk and all of that just the sandalwood as well love that has a time the freshness comes more from the the bergamot a bit more citrusy than the pear and the um violet leaf so as i said the post shave feel was a little bit too dry for dry skin but i am sure that most people won't have a problem with it whatsoever so that was Taylor of Old Bond Street Platinum the Cream. We will see when I do the puck whether the puck is different. I do know from scent and from how it lathers up because I do know it's quadruple milled actually. So I think I've done my review and one of my favorite scuttles the Steve Woodhead Ceramics. This is the large blue um i think i've said everything hope you enjoyed it hope you got something out of it and i will see you soon